Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a boss. I made a boss for my antivirus game, and uh, here's what it looks like. So as you can see, it has different states. It does a zigzag, and it does the idle. And if I hit it enough times, then it'll do a different one. As you can see, we have the lasers. And at the end, if it's lower than 30%, then it'll do its super move that I can show you. Alright, so every boss needs a state machine. A state machine puts the boss in different states. For example, here we have the idle state. This makes the boss stay still. Then we have our laser attack. This is the laser attack. Then we have the zigzag. And all we have here is just different attacks that you can make in the animation player. So let's show you how this works. First we have the setup animation. This will set up the boss. Then, if we go into the transition, we can see auto advance is checked. This means it will automatically advance to the next one immediately. After we arrive, we'll do the same thing, but instead of immediately we had auto advance, we do it at the end. Then we move to the center. At the end of that, it will automatically advance to the idle pose. Now, if you look here, we can see that literally all the moves are connected to the idle pose and they will only go there on a certain condition so if we go to the zigzag left we can see in the condition we have zigzag underscore left if this is set to true then it will run but currently it's set to false as you can see here if we set the zigzag to true then it will automatically advance there and all the same for the other moves so in the idle animation, the idle animation lasts for one second. At the end of the idle animation, when this condition is true, then it will switch to the zigzag left. Then we'll go back to the idle at the end automatically. And we do the exact same thing with all the other moves. And that's how we make this simple state machine. Now I'm going to show you the code of this go here we have an attack threshold we have a constant variable called zigzag this contains the advanced conditions that we set earlier in here same with the lasers same with the supers the laser threshold and the super threshold we'll explain what those are later first let's look what the boss is going to do so every two idle animations so this is one idle animation and this is the second one when that happens the boss will attack and it will be the zigzag attack by default. It will be lasers, 7 damage has been taken in that time. And it will be the super attack, if 7 damage is taken, and the health is below 30%. Here we have the attack set, we set the attack in here. We have the idle count, this is how many times we've been in the idle pose. We have the heart count, this is how we check how many times the boss has been hit. The increase idle count function is run at the end of the idle animation. Then we can check if the idle count is above the attack threshold, which is 1. So if it's above the attack threshold, which means if it's 2, then it'll set the idle count back to 0 and attack, which is what we said at the top here. Every 2 idle animation, the boss attack. In the attack function, we set the attack to the zigzag by default, right here unless the boss has been hit more than 7 times. So if the hurt count is greater than the laser's threshold, which is 7, then we'll reset the hurt count and attack with the laser. But, if our health is below 30%, we'll do the super attack instead. We create a new variable called attack. For example, if it was zigzag, choose a random attack in the array, and then it will go to the animation tree and set the condition attack to true. So then it would be zigzag, then here, it would go zigzag, and set it to true. And when that's set to true, then it will run, do the zigzag, and come back. So in the animation tree, we have a script here. We basically just have one function, set condition. We're taking the parameters, condition name, and the value. All this does is it sets the condition equal to the value. And that's how we make the boss. For the health here, we just have a node with the health script. We have the current health, we check if it's dead or not. 
We have the max amount of health and we have the invulnerability. We have two functions, be invulnerable and not be invulnerable. We can run these functions in the animations if you want to be vulnerable while playing them. Every frame if the health is equal or lower than zero, in other words if the boss is dead, then tell our boss to die. And in here we have the on health depleted function. This will go to our animation tree and set the condition dead to true. Then we have one function here, on hurt box damage taken. This will change the health. And on the health change, it will set the hurt count plus equal to one. This will add one to the hurt count. And remember, if it's greater than seven, then it will reset the hurt count and set the attack to laser. At the end of the idle animation, we run the increase idle count that we created in the boss. We can get this by clicking add track, call method, select it, right click, insert key, and then select the function, and we have our keyframe. Remember when this is run, increase the idle count. So then we'll know that we've run the idle animation. At the end of every attack, we want to set the parameters back to false, or it will repeat the same attack every time, which we don't want. Anyways, thank you for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video, if you did leave a like, comment for more tutorials, and subscribe. Goodbye!